Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the disadvantages of blonde and what they don't tell you about having blonde hair. Yeah, okay, so as a man, blonde highlights can look really, really cool, really trendy, but they take a lot of looking after. And you know what? I am ready to say goodbye to them. So you may actually probably be thinking, what is he going on about? He's got really, really dark hair in the front. And yes, I have. But if I take this out at the moment, you can see in the length of the hair from having dark hair, there's really light bits. Now, this camera doesn't doesn't give it, give it sort of um, the true sort of extent of how blonde. I mean, you can see how here there are some real kind of metallic hues in my hair naturally as you can see I've got really quite dark hair so for a while I've been kind of rocking this style I think and um, it's time for it to go because I've just had enough to be quite honest with you so what they don't tell you about blonde hair so number one the time do you know what the time it takes to sit there and have this literally um, Weaved through, you know, with the, the sort of the the end of a sort of a pintail comb, I believe it's called, or a rat tail comb, whatever, whatever sort of they call it, and then sort of fold up and things like that. I have spent hours sat in a chair looking ridiculous with clips in my hair like this as a man. It is not great. It does not make me feel comfortable. It makes me feel really self-conscious to the point where I've nearly walked out a couple of times. And then I'm thinking, but I really want to try this cool blonde look. And do you know, what? once you first have it. And they get you to try all these products and things and then an Olaplex treatment. It's expensive. So my first thing is the time it takes. I am a very patient person. But when it comes to something like sitting there, the small bits of blonde pull through my hair. And then the time it takes to sort of uh, develop in, in all of this kind of great cool things, which we really, really like. Um, yeah, so the time it takes for it. I've had it done three times. Uh, what have I had it done? Three times? Four times, I think. Spaced in between. So about six months in between. And the first couple of times, no, I think I've had it done four times. The first two times wasn't so long in between because I wanted it brighter. And then the last two times I had six months in between and it needed it because that moves it on. So, so number one, okay, the time it takes. Number two, the cost. It is expensive. So I've paid nearly a hundred pounds actually on the first occasion with the Olaplex treatment and everything on this. And wow, it's expensive. And then of course they don't tell you. Then you walk out the you walk out of the hairdressers with this really cool blonde, and I'm not saying cool, hey like hey do type thing, cool as in like a real ashy, icy, cool tone, rather than those traditional sort of yellowy, more natural blonde tones or warm tones. I opted for a cooler sort of tone, so it looks really kind of like cool. Well, it's expensive. And then, of course, your natural kind of hue, it, it sort of goes quite warm, quite yellow, quite quickly. So therefore, of course, you have to buy the top sort of products. Of course you do from them. You do, first of all, don't you? And then you quickly realise that they're just as good as the high street ones. But it's the extent of the product. So, for example, I never realised how much your hair changes after having bleach on it, which disappoints me a little bit because now my hair I like, but I may be doing something with it shortly because I'm not, whether that's cut it all off short or whether that's changed the colour up and having a go at it myself because the cost I paid out on this is quite extortionate. And the thing is, with everything going up in society, the cost of living increasing as well, and paying up for my um, sort of courses and education things in the background, um, it's expensive. So the time it takes, okay, the cost, it's, it's, blonde is a premium colour, whether you're a man or a woman, more so for a woman, because of course, how much it takes. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. But it's expensive and it's time consuming. So those are the first two things why I'm ready to let go of a blonde. The third thing, okay, is how it changes the texture of your hair. So if you've got real fine thinning hair, then a few sort of sashes of blonde throughout your hair would be great to add texture fullness because straight away it adds a texture which is, I don't want to say rough, but it adds texture to the hair. So of course there are great benefits of having blonde put through your hair, particularly if you're a lady and you've got that sort of finer texture hair, or perhaps you're thinning, but you still want to give that illusion of fullness, thickness, and your confidence there, then that's going to be really, really great for you. But it does change the texture for me too much because then it's the extent of that it becomes very, very fragile. Even now, months on, and I've used endless products in my hair to give the nourishment, that sort of revitalization back. And even now, sometimes the ends of my hair feel really quite 
fragile, and I've used expensive, expensive sort of Oplex systems, treatments, what have you. I've paid nearly £100 for products and things before. I've paid one and two, three pounds for products before. Some help, some are amazing, some aren't so. But you know what, it's all about that nourishment. So blonde really, really is a very high-end maintenance colour. Um, yeah, it's great. And if you're prepared, I think when I first tried it, I don't think I kind of, I don't, I don't think I kind of realised just how much of a commitment and just how much of a high maintenance blonde is. As you can see, I haven't kept up on the roots. And I actually tried about a fortnight ago um, when I went to the person who who cuts and styles my hair. Is I wanted I wanted to get rid of it because I had a root block line last time, which I wasn't very happy about because I said number one, it didn't look very masculine. It looked like it's strange, isn't it? But I wanted the look as though that it was natural sort of like that the sun had been taken through my hair and I came out with a very harsh line it looked really really nice back in December when my last time I had it done but straight away I just I didn't like the root line as it grew out and of course if you've got if you've got like white on the top and you're dark is what I am then it's really quickly apparent in days that you're not naturally that light so you've got that root line so I didn't want that so I actually had some dark some dark sort of streaks put through to sort of pull through so it, it kind of looked a bit more natural so I didn't have to worry about it so much. That quickly just within days washed out because of course with bleached hair it doesn't kind of hold on to it very well. So that's another thing so if you're going to do this to your hair just be aware that it's not so easy then to go on and choose a different style or not style, colour, let's just be. Now, the one thing which I absolutely hated, and I'm just going to brush this through a moment so you, I can show you. So, the one thing I absolutely hate, and I'm really hoping I can get rid of it, is this. Okay, so, my hair is fine, but I've got a lot of it. Okay, so, what I don't like about it, and it's happening straight away here, is my hair is a fine length. I'm not saying the length is really good, I'm saying it's fine, but with a little bit of length now. So it's touching my shoulders just over, as you can see by these ends here. But there is there is chemical throughout my hair, there is bleach in my hair. Now, straight away, when the wind blows, okay, now I was for ages trying to kind of chase that look, you know, like the Brad Pitt kind of look with the longish hair with a blonde thread. I'm a really, really like Keith Urban style hair as well. And then you got me, which I like, and I like my hair, but as you can see, it, it goes puffy. And this is the thing I absolutely hate. So yes, with fine textured hair, it's great to get that texture in, which fine hair often lacks. But look, okay, so I've just brushed it through. Look at the puffiness, which happens. And this happens when it goes on. It's almost like this happens. Watch. It's almost like this happens. And that's bleach. Because it never happened before. And I wasn't prepared for that. Look at me, I look like a lion. Right, and look. And it just, it stays like that. Whereas, uh, that's why I absolutely hate, so I cannot wait. In fact, I can't even look at this like that anymore. Right, I'm just going to brush this through, because I absolutely hate that. Christmas Eve, right, I went to a family function. Lots of people for Christmas. Everybody was all done up, so was I. I decided to think that after having the hair, I had my hair lightened, that it would be really, really cool, okay, to then have it straight and have it really nicely styled. It was super amazing it looked i'm not a vain person but it looked really really cool <sighs> then i went out and it was a bit stormy on this particular day i think it was um i can't remember what time it was but it was christmas eve anyway so really really magical time and it was when i went to my brothers in the evening when we all were together and i happened to look in the mirror and i had like what was straightened hair bearing in mind i had like hair like this from the obviously the bleached and I and I absolutely hate that and in fact it was just a small thing which really really tainted the day for me so yeah so just have a, a realistic a realistic rather expectation of what bleach does to your hair because it does no matter what they say to you in the hairdressers or all these top products it it changes ultimately changes your hair so if you have got that soft nourished hair be careful because I did I still do it's well conditioned and looked after now but as you can see I still get that puffiness Okay, so those are just a few things, all right, which is really making me want to change my hair. And you know what? I'm probably going to say goodbye to the blonde real soon. And of course, uh, end horrible bit of the breakage. Do you know what? The breakage, even if you leave the hairdressers of that real nice silky hair, 
I kid you not, wash it a couple of days later, and it feels like rope. Even with the most, I pay, as I said, I paid nearly £100 for products and shampoos and conditioners and things. My hair still feels, and then you're there, literally like this, carefully brushing, brushing, brushing. It's the time. That's, I thought that was the last thing. And then again, what's just come into my head, the amount of time. If you're somebody who hasn't got time or patience, forget blonde, because with blonde, it's high-end, it's high-maintenance. It needs a lot of time, dedication <laughs> for it to look good. Anybody who's thinking of blonde hair, think about it really do because i actually think sometimes you know i'm glad i experienced it but i actually think that sometimes you know what it's it was never ever worth it because i'm i have a really really busy finance professional role i haven't necessarily got the time for it i like the longer length hair but lately i've been so close to having real short cropped off spiky nice flicky hair it looks cool it's great i like the longer length hair but the puffiness i can't deal with and that's of course what bleach has done Okay, so really, really hope that um, I kind of gained, gained or given you rather a bit of clarity around the disadvantages of blonde hair. For me, I don't think it is for me. Love the colour. I almost would love my hair white at times, but just with all what goes with it, no. If you're naturally dark, then blonde is much more difficult to achieve. And with all of those things we've discussed, I'm not prepared for it, to be quite honest with you. I'm glad I've experienced it, but I probably won't be having the light put through my hair again anytime soon. Okay, thanks very much for sharing this with me. Thanks very much for being here. And until next time, I will be with you soon. You never know, I might even have a different style, hairstyle or colour even. Okay, I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.